Welcome to another video. In today's video, I decided to make a video. Because, I mean, it's just too much stuff going on here. And I should have made a video about putting that thing together. Because I put it together one night. And then I went to test it the next day and it completely leaked. Everything. Look at all those parts. It's just parts and parts and parts to get all the parts right to get it all to do what it needs to do and they all leaked and it took me hours to make all that not leak but guess what as of yesterday it didn't leak so now that that doesn't leak now i can see if this leaks so if it leaks then obviously i need to fix it but if it doesn't leak, I need to filter it. I need to get water flowing through it to clear it all out. So I think it needs like the first stage. I think I have to get the filters filtered without the tank. So the tank's off. So I'll run that. I gotta read the directions again for a time and I had the hose that fit on there and then that goes and drains, okay? So now I'm gonna see if it's gonna leak, which is always exciting. All right, we have actually reached the second phase. Ooh, it's going to turn on. Notice how there is no leaks there. That's uh, ideal, because eventually this will go inside. So now, What's happening is that is off and this is filling and this is supposed to take like two to three hours to fill up and I'll know it's filled because this, the drain, will stop draining when that's filled. So two or three hours from now, that'll fill up, I'll drain it and I have to do that uh, three times and then leave the last one overnight and then it is actually ready to use. And the first thing I have to do with it, make ice cubes. Okay, so I got the, the nasty water from the filters. Not really nasty, it's just like carbon stuff. But you don't want that in anything, so you flush it. Now, the only, we did have a little bit of leaking over here. I just needed to tighten something. Then this needed tightening as well, but it's really draining a lot more water than I was expecting, and I just have a broken hose. So I do have a leak, but it's this broken hose that I'm just using to try to you get the water to go away from puddling right here. So, seems to be going pretty good. Nothing in that system has leaked at all yet. So, we will see. I gotta read the directions now that it's going. Okay, totally grr. This is leaking. It's leaking from here and from here which I literally took these things on and off, put more tape, put them back on, reefed them like you have no idea, like banged myself up, like basically straddling this thing. It would have been nice to have it mounted to the floor and then go out or mounted as, you know, whatever and go at it. But I wasn't exactly sure of what I wanted to mount it to. I think I only just figured that out. So, Needless to say, I have to tighten these even freaking more. Ah, oh, plumbing. I do have a little leak in the strangest of places on the drain. Now, I would have thought running a little hose like that into a big hose like that, that the drain wouldn't build up pressure to overfill. But apparently hooking it up to that much hose provides enough pressure, like it's building up right there to make it leak all the way up there. So it's making a little puddle right there. 
Gonna have to fix that. I think this Nick, this thing's nickname is Hose Clamp. But yeah, I mean, I'm a Hose Clamp plumber. Yeah, unapologetically. Definitely not filling up. What they say to do then is to connect this yellow directly to that or there I guess which means I've got to take things apart and reassemble them to actually what they call stretching the bladder which I did not see that part so now I have to do that and then I think I got to go back through and do the entire filter filter process again because it's not really filling up. What I've done is I undid the intake from the system and put it right to the tank. The other option would have been taking the yellow off and then unscrewing that and going to that. But this was a lot easier because it's just these little blue tabs. So now I have to run the pump for one minute to stretch the tank. It has been nowhere near two to three hours, but the, the drain has stopped draining, which was my indication that the tank was full. The tank kind of feels full, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh yeah, look at the crap coming out of there. Oh yeah, totally see it. That's what you don't want to drink. I would say over 50% of the water that goes into this system flows back out through the drain. That's a constant flow. When this thing up here is running, it's a trickle. So I, it might be 60, it might be 70, somewhere in there, 60, 70% of the water that goes into one of these systems goes out the drain. So that's why households need to have better drain setups because just throwing like that water away, I mean, that's like perfect for watering plants. Okay, the directions say it's supposed to take two to three hours for this tank to fill up and it took a half an hour. So I'm a little confused. I'm wondering if I'm putting too much pressure to it. If I was, wouldn't it leak or something? I don't know. 30 minutes versus two to three hours is a huge difference. Uh, maybe I'll just run it like an extra couple times just to be sure maybe. I don't know. But it's most definitely not draining anymore. There's nothing draining, so there's nothing filtering. I don't know if you're gonna see what it looks like this time. Oh, it's a little dirty still. It's probably carbon dust. But that's that's like full blast. <laughs> which is leading me to believe that when I actually run this thing, I'm gonna need to get it filled and then maybe put some water up there before I start and let that get filled just so I have enough water to actually fill the system. Which, oh boy, the problems I had with leaks on this and, all, and the plumbing that I've done here is nothing compared to the plumbing that's buried in this thing here. And oh, that's the next phase, is after I get this all filtered out, then I gotta rinse all this out and check all the plumbing and all this, and oh, I'm scared. I was having a problem with back pressure. This was completely full and running out of the hose super slow. So I swapped it out, no more leaks, and just ran it into a bucket. And now, it's filling this, which 
it wasn't because I was stuck. There I am a couple days later and doing some calculations because the directions say basically it's all based on a tank. That tank is supposed to like four and a half gallons, right? But I'm still not getting it to go up to four and a half gallons. My guess is it's maybe going up to like two or three gallons or something like that. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of just judging on how it feels, how much extra runoff I get, you know. So if they want you to four of those, you know, in essence, that's like almost 20 gallons they want you to run through the system. So, and actually that's more than 20 gallons because the drain is like 60 or 70% of the water. So it's maybe more like 40 gallons goes into that before it's ready. Well, if I'm only doing a tank at a time and, my, and, and it's like maybe a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons, you know, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's getting a little more each time. I did the process that they said to do, and, and I, I don't think it stretched it that much. But at this point, I'm like, okay, so I've done this this many times now, which I think I've done it like seven, maybe. And maybe it's been in a gallon and a half. You know, so, you know, I'm somewhere around like halfway through-ish right that's my best guess but now i also have to filter and rinse and check the plumbing on everything else so the water that's going to be coming out of there is probably good enough to rinse this out and start rinsing it out and start running it through a few times and then by the time i get done and that has rinsed then the 20-ish gallons that are supposed to go through it that at that point i'll be rinsing out this at the very end of that and it'll be all rinsed out and i'll know if i have leaks i'll fix the leaks but it's a lot of freaking water that you just basically have to waste to uh get this whole thing up and going and wasting water where i am I have to haul the water up here to the middle of nowhere, which here. It was only supposed to be 91 today. Yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Remarkably, this thing has actually stopped leaking. There was a little leak like somewhere around in here, I think. And over here and they're gone and what I think it is did you see that little white this water I have is alkaline 9 over 9 so that's why I got that filter right there um, because if I hadn't got that filter that would have been in my rosin no bueno but yeah, I think that, whatever, that alkaline stuff just basically plugged the holes, which is, uh, that's, that's my kind of plumbing. All right, first major problem, and if I had to guess what the problem is, I think it is that uh, the belt. I think the belt came off the motor. So in the process of filling this up to run it, the belt came off. It was act it jumped all around when I turned it on and now it just does this nothing. So it's time to drain it and take it apart a little bit and fix it. Alright, getting ready to witness if there's gonna be any leaks and it's like oh it seems some foam 
friggin' leaked down after the, uh, after I thought it was all done drying, which is pretty wild. I wonder why. Oh, every time I go to talk, this thing goes on. Like, literally on the tube. How does it know? This stuff is all, like, cured weird. That's why I put a glove on, because it looks totally weird. Dang, look what happened. Like, this thing literally freaking, like, after the fact, bubbled out like crazy. Like, what the heck? When did that even happen? Now I gotta wonder about my level, too. Like, is my hole in the bottom? Like, is that the bottom or is that the bottom? We're about ready to find out. Because I'm going to test this plumbing right now. Well, it's definitely going in the drain. Now let's see if it's on. Where's all the water going? That's off. Where's the water? But... Oh, it's just sitting in here. Okay, so now I want to go through there, so this, on, no, that's what that is on, and that's on too, so now that's off, So now, oh, 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 it's working! It's working! Look at that! Look at that! Here comes the first part. Oh, there's a leak in it. That's the question. Is there any drips? I do not see any drips. Okay, so now I want to send it back up to the top. So I said, I guess it's just that stuff. So I open it up and then turn it off. I don't know what's going to do. Okay. Again, I was getting a leak here. Wow. Um, last friggin' hose clampology there. Hose clampology in the one. Okay, hoser. We're freaking pumping and flooding. And we got little floatsons in there. Okay, so now I'm going to completely drain it. So I'm going to turn this on and that off. Maybe I need to leave this on to thaw out. Okay, it's pretty empty. Some residual in there, but okay. So that's going. We're still not leaking. Wow, that's fucking awesome. in the butt is, is draining it because I don't have a drain to go to a drain. I have a drain that's going into a bucket, which I wish I would have set it up to pump all this out. Uh, I don't even know if I could have done that, but if I could have pumped all this out to my garden this whole time, 
in my garden container, that would have been a good use of this. But it's really draining slow. So I think the better procedure for draining would be to just pump it out and then drain it down to the bottom. And then it's going to be very hard to actually get all the water out because that's the drain and the pump is below that. So I'm thinking about compressed air to blow out. And I'm also thinking about using some, I think it's called star sand. It's like what brewing, brewing stuff is used to make sure all your, your brewery equipment is, is safe, right? So then what I do is like, like right now I just got it all wet, right? So hypothetically, like I just used it. So then I would put some star sand in there, run it through everything, get as much out, uh, liquid out as possible, store it. When I go to use it again, pull it back out and rinse it really good. And then it's good. You know, I'm sure it's good. It, 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 you know, maybe a week or something it could go without star sand if you were going to use it again in a week. I'm guessing. Don't quote me on that. And my worst fears are true. This lifted this side. So now this is drained completely over here. But over here, there's a puddle. No bueno. Now to fix the washing machine, I have to, this comes off easily. All this insulation comes off. I just have to cut one section of tape. Then there's three screws up underneath there that I get to get at, which two are no problem, and one is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Here we are a couple days later, got this thing open, and what's going on is somehow the motor is totally tilted. You can see how tilted it is. I got this pushed up so I can see. So that, if, it, if it's down, it, it lines up, but then this this little bolt right here hits on the plastic and it's like the whole entire motor is is like bent up like this and I don't know if I did that it ran fine I don't know how it did how this motor got like that I don't know because I ran it and it ran fine so I'm super confused but yeah this is something where I gotta take it all the way apart now. Not exactly sure why, but I found this, which is like an extra foot. It was just kind of randomly in there, and it might have been, but I'm not exactly sure because I actually, I've run it. So I don't know how it like, unless it was like the resistance of the water on the thing, and then when it, I don't know, but. Here I am back at ground zero again. So this seems to be a design flaw. I don't know if I can get a shot, maybe, but no matter what, this is just tinyly freaking whacking on that. And it doesn't appear as though that part is important. So I'm just gonna carve that piece out. Okay, it's working great with uh, one tank of filtered water. So that tank had however much it had in it. Not much, but there's a little pipe, so I don't know, something. And now it's running without any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it like this and fill it up and test it and fill it up and test it and fill it up and test it. Before I put it all back together. Okay, honest opinion about this part of this system is it's junk. They don't do whatever they need to do. They're like, oh, if it doesn't fill up all the way, just connect it directly. And do I did all that and it still doesn't give me much water. Look at that. That's two entire tanks. It's just pathetic. You know, it's it's like 
when a company just tries to do everything. It's like maybe you should just stick to filtering the water because pressurizing the water is obviously beyond your company's capabilities. All right, let's see uh, if it blows up on this one. That is a very aggressive situation. And if there was ice cubes in there, it would potentially be even more aggressive. I think I'm altering my concept that maybe the bag needs to go in first and the ice sits on top. That's probably a better idea. That's, that's something. Okay, but it worked. So now we wait for another amount of time to get a teeny, teeny little bit more water out of the, yeah. I mean, this, this system here seems to have it figured out. Like that thing, it just works. This thing, it don't work right. Pretty much identical. It's close to like 50-50. When you think about that, that means if this is like an 11 gallon thing, I think. Maybe not, I don't remember. Uh, let's say it's five gallons. That's five gallons it goes in and five gallons it goes out. So this is a very water intensive just from the standpoint of just getting the water filtered. And I don't know exactly know how much water, I might try to figure that out today, it needs total in the whole system to, to run. I would imagine that this itself needs about, uh, right about maybe, somewhere around in here, so about half. So maybe if I filled this up and drained out half, I'd have enough in the system. Boy, oh, it's just a lot of water, especially in this phase of getting everything clean and uh, filtering the filters. All right, this is a little concerning. Like, the pH, it's really fucking hot. I mean, it's 10? That's really high. For something that's supposed to be freaking getting the alkaline out of there. Um, huh. I wonder, I don't know. Let's see what this is. This is the exit water. What the hell? The pH is lower in the exit water than it is in the other water? What the fuck? Well, this is nuts. This is nuts. This is a full one point lower. more it keeps going what the eight nine that is so freaking weird how is that even doing that how is this thing hooked up on don't have a, an arrow, uh, wouldn't that be something if it's hooked up wrong and the alkaline's actually going the wrong way? All right, if what I'm thinking now is the case, is the case, it is so dumb. Because I actually think this stupid thing, it says pH plus. So this would be for acidic water, not for alkaline water. So it's kind of stupid to say for alk when you actually need alkaline removal. 
Your water is too alkaline. You want to remove the alkaline. So it's alkaline based. It, ah, I swear. That's probably what's going on right now. It's literally putting more alkaline in my freaking water. Uh, so I, the first one I had was the one I needed basically. Okay, so that was just freaking obnoxious. That thing, so apparently this system removes everything out of the system. And then because some stuff tastes good, this apparently puts that stuff back in the water. So everything's soaked now because I basically had to take this out of the system. So yeah, if you're replicating this, do not buy that. It is completely counter to what is needed. Completely. I don't know if you can see that crap float in there, but that's most definitely why I got to clean this thing out first. Because you do not want that stuff in your stuff. The more water gets in there, the more that card shakes. That's not as full as it's going to be. I mean, I'm just going to pull it all the way up. I just keep testing it at every level. Just to make sure. Really. It's not going to just be up at some point. This is pretty aggressive though. If you think about ice being in there. Like that's going to be pretty crazy ice in there. I might have to like put all the ice in the bottom of this instead of just a little layer of ice. I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. I can only imagine how crazy that would be if there was a whole bunch of ice in there right now climbing around. It's actually dropping, I think, slightly. I'm engaging it on this here. And it looks as though it's slowly dropping. So, to actually run this a little more efficiently, I have to turn it down a little bit. leaking. It was splashing like up in here and then draining out here. There's a little puddle right there. Not ideal. So it just has to be kept at a lower level. I feel like just testing, you know. It's all testing. Oh, now I'm actually gaining. So now I gotta, it's too much. Get it to where I want it and then find equilibrium.
seems to be it right about there. And barely on, just keeps everything about the same. And it seems to run really good now. I have no idea. It ran fine. I put it all together and then I don't know if have a clue how that happened. But this guy's definitely all good now. I was running the running the running out of it for all day. With zero problems. Just like that, it's all back together. All in working order. But now what has to happen is, like I said before, some star sand, I think it's called. Some kind of uh, disinfectant to go down in through the pipes and just, you know, just in case. Although everything's open, so it has the ability to dry out and it's pretty hot, so. But heat and moisture typically create things, living things, so that's the next step. All right, the thing's back in where it belongs, and the pump now is actually running my entire water system. I no longer use a transfer pump on top of my tank. I use that, and it seems to be working pretty good. All right, so... The next thing for this is making a lot of ice cubes. I can't imagine that's going to be very entertaining. Like, subscribe, and peace. Thank you for watching.